It'd be kind of interesting to see uh, Doc's lab. I mean, his bedroom. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes plan, we'll mm -hmm. soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. <laughs> this crankshaft induces a powerful direct current. Hey, that was in the, the future. <laughs> yeah. Producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. That's what that thing While was. To the hydrogen, Electrolysis. We'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen. That's why you have the aquarium. Hmm. So, I didn't know Doc had fish. Hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature That's of 600 cool, degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Oh, great. Now we're going to have to do questions? all this. Electro what? Electro <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> uh. Uh oh. Oh, you still a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn. Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father. So? That's how his whole family oh, talks, except no for him. And yeah, and I'll got it. So now we got to take care of all father, this stuff. All right, and here we are back with good old Back to the Future, All right. the video game. Now, here's the thing. We have not played this game for a very, <laughs> very long time. I'd like to yeah. actually go through some time and explain how we record and play the games for the show. But basically, to keep it really short and simple, we will sit down and play a game like this maybe for like three hours. Mm -hmm. And we will get multiple parts from that game. Yeah. Like, we'll play Destroy All Humans in one sitting and have ten parts. Yeah. And I might upload one part per month. So, all of a sudden, ten months... So, we might not even play a game for ten months yeah. before we get caught up on it. <laughs> so, we've been caught up with the footage uploading, but you and I have not played this game for almost a year. Really? I cannot remember anything, like, about the story. No, me neither. I watched it just a few months ago, but I just don't... I still don't remember why we're doing what we're doing. <clears throat> the only thing I can remember is, like, you know, something happened a long time ago. It's like, okay, Doc was missing. We needed to go find him. Mm -hmm. We ended up going back into the past, but I don't know what the story is. Like, we have to give... Uh, his grandfather, Marty's grandfather, a subpoena. I don't mm. know why. I can't remember why. We yeah. also have to talk to young Doc Brown to build a rocket or something. I don't remember why. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. But we're going to continue the game. All right, and we got a new, nice new uh, little studio here with the audio here. You yeah. haven't seen this yet if you're just watching the Back to the Future videos. Yeah, it's the first time we've had the Fancy. soundboard. Great with. Scott! It's the first time we had the soundboard. I'm going to take your phone, too, by the way. <laughs> All right, you want it? It's a fancy phone. It's the first time we had the soundboard with this video game. All right. Okay, we're in his lab now. Okay, so... I forgot this, the, the point-and-click nature of this game. So if you want, I think... I don't remember. You can hit start or something so you can see, like, what your mission objective is. Oh, he was just about to look at that and say something. I probably just completely interrupted it. Now you can just say return to game. Just Just a second. I didn't even hit anything yet. He just, I just pointed at it. I looked at it. Did I do the right thing? What did you thing? do? What you do? Who are you talking to in there? No one, father. That was a weird voice. I think the game is... See, he's like, what kind of pressure I'm under? Look for a gaseous valve. <laughs> yeah. So it wants us to go over to that thing. Wow, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. think if you hit triangle... Oh, it wants me to go over to this thing. I w okay. I'm not true with you yet. I... Why is his vo his father is like Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> um. So go to return game. You you sure? Okay. I thought there was something in there I needed to check out. No, but... I thought there was, but okay. now hit triangle. There is a flame, flame inside, inside me. So just hit triangle, and this should be the help thing. Ah, okay. Pay attention to Emmett's words as he argues with his father. Your pressure! The pressure flame, flame! Flame! Finish processing the fuel for Emmett's invention. So there's pressure on him because he's a flamer. And then if you need <laughs> another hint, hit that. So totally misinterpret everything he says. Emmett's instructions must be followed in the order they're given. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, pressure, flame, quick, pump the bellows. Oh, so, so he's like talking to his fathers, but he's like trying to give Marty some hints. Yeah. As, and he, he has to pay attention to his father. <laughs> Flames! Alien eggs. I guess. That's what it looked like. Some kind of weird... It looked like the eggs from um, Ernest Scared Stupid. I thought you were a scientist. Oh, oh, oh. So he has said Can't something... Eating. Eating. So some sort of fish food. I thought I did that just now. But he, yeah, before he was saying something about fuel and then flame. Mm. Shock. How do I get over there? This, The depth in this is so confusing. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before, that the cameras and the controls for this game is really goofy. I see this electric thing in there. I'm trying to get over there. Ah. And then he'll pop out. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. See, what was weird is he said other things. He said, like, pressure. Yeah. And then so he I said, think I have to do it as he says it. Burning passion, Father, but it is burning. So now we need to find some kind of... There's a it's candle saying, right there. I don't know why it's saying... Spring. See, I just hit the X and he just goes over there, though. See, that's why I was saying I think you're on this side of the table. I need to get to the other side you of the need table. To do that and come See, around. now it shows me that it screwed up, and he's gonna come in here and be like, "We're screwing up." Let you go feed the ducks, father. Feed. Okay, I have to feed bacteria to this thing. I wish I could tell what I'm highlighting. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm just not looking at it right. Spark. spark. Now, I think there's also another weird thing. If you hit, oh yeah, the toggle. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh! I thought I had to walk up to it. You're just supposed to toggle to it. And that's why he kept going over to feed stuff every time and hitting the button. A burning building. Burning flame. Stoke the fire. Now he's gonna be mad. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. Scottish! You know who invented fire pop? Fire? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Ah, toggle. Do you know who invented fire? Fire! Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? There we go. Turn electrical crank. Yeah, I forgot about the toggle thing. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said So, stoke the fire. Why won't you release me from your unattainable... Yeah, release gaseous pressure. I don't know what's eating you... Hey, feed the fish. Holy smoke. It's like Simon says. Good. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, halfway there. Thank you. <laughs> One drop. One drop. That's all you get. Good work. It's like, um... I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Five years later... You don't know anything about pressure. It's like turning pee into water in Waterworld. my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. But overblown bags of gas. Just screw it up. Okay, that's what you meant, bags of gas, not the, not put air. I thought he meant blow air what to stoke do? the flames. What did you do? You ruined everything. Start over from the beginning. I hope not. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticism? Shake. I'm assuming feed. My Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? I like that it speeds up as you do this. It's okay, so food again. Food. What? He said food. Maybe I was supposed to wait till he said something else. Just pay attention to what I say. I am. Why don't you say it better? 
Yeah, he's saying weird things now, like shake. Shake what? Your booty. So shock. So I get that for the Alexa, the alternator. So now we go to the... I think I heard his father say See, I think something, and it was weird. Microorganism. See, that was weird. When he said vent, I was thinking of that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Spins. What do you mean, spin? I think I have to spin the crank. Turn the crank again? Feeding. He's saying feeding now. So now... Hotter you get. Now I have to do the flames. What the heck? He said feeding. Oh. Feed the flame? Don't feed the bacteria, feed the flame. I said feeding, duh. I'll have to figure out what's going on. So eating, so we need to feed it. See, that's okay, somebody Ignore else. that, I guess. That's what I was thinking. I was like, there's got to be something now. They're saying to do two things, and you have to pick which one. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? So they already stoked the fire. Yeah, you gotta That's ignore father. That. So you ignore that stuff. Okay, that's why I gotta ignore that. That would be bad if you were deaf. Yeah. You need these subtitles. By Galileo's rotations. So you spin. But yeah, if you were deaf, you're not gonna know who's who's talking. Yeah, it's true. Almost there. Drip. Oh man, Emmett's just like right on top of everything. He's so feed, I guess. Like, I was gonna make a bad pun. I'm gonna ignore it. So hot air, stoke the fire. Eating you, Father, feeding the fish again, or the bacteria. Is it eating? This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. <laughs> Everything's like, oh my gosh. If weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future. Oh, now we got to do that. Bladders. Yeah, that release the gaseous pressure. Ever generated by a lawyer. Generator, so generate. I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your Okay, now food. Holy cow, it's getting fast. Now release, release pressure. So that one, and then food. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth and now somewhere? the release and, flame inside me that and now the fire. So is it going to be done yet? <laughs> it's comical. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This what? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Just had a goofy version of it now. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Still not done. Yeah, you still... You now made it backwards. Now the rocket's gonna fly backwards. That's how science works. I was, Eureka. I was gonna say, is that what we did? Did we goof it up? up the old rocket power drill I don't think so. I, I mean, like, can take it yeah, oh, we were supposed to goof it up. Like part of the don't story, like it goofed first? up. Now we no even have more the, the crap to do. DC oh. just a few minutes. All right, you've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. There's a lot of weird freezing. So tell me, Sonny, mm. when can I expect to hear back from the patent office? Three days, a month to six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it really works. Come on. Oh, in about, I'd say... <gasps> I, I can't. <laughs> huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. That's I not what I said. <laughs> I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me. In little to, to China. both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Low pan. He's, yeah, he's going to use the rocket to break Emmett out of jail, I'm guessing, right? 
the drill? Is it a drill? I thought it was a rocket. It's this thing like something. I'll get it back to you. I promise. Like I said, I don't and, remember the story. It, you're gonna be a great inventor. And now he disappointed Emmett. Now Emmett's gonna go and do something and completely start screwing up time. So then you're gonna go back into right. the future. Everything's gonna be all messed up, and you're gonna have to go back again. Keep the throttle at about eight. Like eighty-eight. <laughs> yeah. Eight point eight. That's what he should have said. Micro giga somethings. Keep it at about eight. You know, somewhere around eight point eight. <laughs> yeah. He just likes eights. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Doc's not even in there. Yeah. He got out. He's going to be put on the gallows. Time ago. <laughs> Holy smoke. That'd be awesome to have a drill like that in real life. And that's, um... Can't, I can't even remember her name. I think the principal's daughter or something. Oh, yeah. Sunny. It's not her, though, because it's so far in the past. Yeah, her, her ancestor. Uh, too late. She's the too late. newspaper Doc's writer. Not supposed to be. <laughs> newspaper writer. Doc. Reporter. They're moving him to another facility <laughs> for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Strickland. Yeah. Police chief Strickland. <laughs> That'd be funny. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? You had to go and break it, didn't you? <laughs> rescue Dak. So we got to rescue Doc. So we have earned a trophy. Jailbreak. Okay, because apparently we broke him out of jail. But we did. Did <laughs> no? What? No, we didn't. <laughs> All right. So hit triangle. So we I can like see the what's design of that thing because it looks like it's the back of the DeLorean. Kind yeah. Of similar design. <laughs> okay, so. Marty needs a vehicle to catch up with the paddy wagon. Well, of course, she left her bike there. Mm. So need another hint. Let's see what it says. Because I know it's just take the bike. And this bicycle is available. But it's far too slow. Or is it? Mm. Mm. Pick up the remnant. And they're like, fine, you're stupid. Pick up the rocket and drill and put it <laughs> on her bike. We're just going to tell you now. <laughs> Whoop. Exit. Exit. So what we need to do is... Let's see, can we can you toggle to pick up that go? stuff? Oh yeah, there we go. So drill. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Now I guess walk over to the oh, okay. <laughs> sure, just you know, throw <laughs> it together. It works like that. That's how science works. It's got warp cells. Alright, I'm coming, Doc. I'm coming, Doc. Blows up. Arm goes there, leg goes there. <laughs>